Today I'm going to show you how to make a poll in Dialogger. So first things first, plus, press on this plus sign down in the bottom right hand corner, and then select the poll project to start your own poll. First thing I like to do when I start a new project is I like to name the project. So I name it right here, and today we're going to do a poll about cats and dogs. So call it cat and dog poll. There we go. And then press save changes, and it's saved, and then you can go back to the poll builder. First things first, ask your question. Do you like cats or dogs? Um, so before we go any further, I'm going to talk to you about the answer options that we have. So we have text only answers, small images with text answers, rating option, or images, larger images with text answer. You also have different image shapes right here. We have the square, we have the wide, and then we have the tall. And it's important to note that we have the aspect ratios right here, if you want to know that for entering in your pictures. I'm going to stick with the square because I like the square. Over here, you can choose multiple answers or this or that answers. We're going to do this or that today. So next thing you do is you type in your first answer. I like cats. And then your second answer. I like dogs. And down here is where you upload your images. So we have lots of upload options available, Facebook, Instagram, Google Drive, so on and so forth, almost as many as you could think of. I prefer the upload for my computer though. So first answer was a cat. Okay, pick the cat picture. Now you can crop the picture so that you know what aspect ratio you need. You could also circle the picture, which is actually what I like to do. I like to circle the picture. Or you could rotate the picture here. You could also reset the photo down here. So we're going to save it as a circle picture right here. Upload. There you go. I like cats. And then we're going to do the same with the dogs. Cute little dots in. Circle it. Save. Upload. And then that one is also done. Very good. So now in order to edit your question settings right here, you can randomize the answers and you can allow multiple answers right here. When you click that, you could pick it at least number and at most number right down here. Um, question font, answer font, background color, answer background color, and then the highlight. The highlight is what shows up when you scroll over the picture. So you can change that color right here as well. Opacity for background of the answers. So you'd have it darker or lighter if you want. And then font style, question size, answer size right here. You can also upload a background image if you want to, and that's where you do it right here. You just have to make sure you select the show background image button right here. And this is where you can change the background color and the background opacity. Very good. Okay, when you're done, don't forget to press save changes to save your changes. So that was a customized poll. Now we're on to poll settings. Display settings, show poll title, show answers, social share buttons, Show percentage only, show results, include breakdown, auto display breakdown, and make poll private. All polls are made private. It just means that they can't search for your poll. That's all it means. And then vote settings, show vote button. button. You could also set a start and end date if you want to. And then white labeling over here. You can change the logo right here if you want to. So this logo, logo right here, you can change it right here if you want to. All right. And that's the poll builder. It's poll settings. Now we're going to go to poll integrations. And then full integrations is where you enable your integrations right here. 
Now, in order to enable your integrations, you have to have those integrations signed up with your account first. So we've gone over customized poll, poll settings, and poll integrations. Next, we go over here to the actions, which is where the fun stuff comes in. So this is where you can request an opt-in. It's basically the same edit style. You can include a picture if you want to. You can include what type of lead form you want. You could include where to display the lead if you want to display the lead. Text options, GDPR opt-in, privacy policy checkbox, all of the above. And you can even edit the text for those as well. And then if you want to display an offer, this is where you could display an offer and this is where you can edit your offer, almost exactly the same as the opt-in. Very simple. And then this is where you enable feedback based on vote. So if the person votes, I like cats, you can write in some feedback down here. If they vote, I like dogs, you can put in some feedback right down here. And this will show up after they're done voting. And then the redirect is also very fun. So you can redirect to a single URL or you can redirect according to vote. So if they answer, I like cats, you could take them to a cat toy page. If they answer, I like dogs, you could take them to a cat dog toy page or someplace where they could adopt a dog. And then you could open the redirect in the same window, in a new window or in a parent window. So you have lots of options there. We also have Facebook Pixel, if you want to include that. And when you're done, you click on publish, and this shows you the many different ways that you can share it. Here's the embed code. Here's where you can change the custom size of it, or you can click one of these sizes and it'll change it for you. This is how you can email it. This is just the link, and this is the social share settings. So you can decide which ones you want to show. I want to show any of them turn it off completely, so on and so forth. And then when you're done, this is where you can see the stats. And right now, because I just created this poll, it has no stats. But once you put your poll out there, it'll show you everything right here that you would ever want to know about your potential customers. So that is how to create a poll.